In today's video, we are doing a master class on elegance. We are talking pretty, poise, and purpose. So, let's get into it. If you're new here, I'm Laura, and this is Executive Her. On this channel, I help women navigate their professional paths through modern elegance, grace, and sophisticated style. So ladies, today we are talking pretty, poise, and purpose. So let's start with pretty. Now, if you have not watched Deborah Berry on YouTube, it's a Deborah Berry channel. I just love her channel because she does a lot of style videos, but she start each video by saying, ladies, we are holding on to our pretty. Now I would say not only are we holding on to our pretty, we are elevating our pretty. So ladies, let's start first with our weight. Now, I know when we start talking weight, it is so controversial. Some people have different views on weight. So if you are comfortable with your weight, whatever that weight is, I am not talking to you. If you like it, I love it for you. But if you are uncomfortable with your weight, you are not going to show up as elegant. That is the harsh and honest truth because if you are not comfortable with your weight, you are tugging at your clothes, you are reverting or retreating in the background, you're not gonna show up as an elegant woman. If you want to be elegant, if you have struggled with your weight or you are thinking about your weight in terms of feeling really insecure about it, this is the year to do something about it. There are so many resources out there and yes, it is hard, it is not easy, but there are resources. So you can start with an app. There are so many apps out there and some are relatively inexpensive. Noom is a great app. I even tried Noom myself because I really wanted to see what it was all about. Now one of the great things about Noom, and this is not sponsored, is that not only do they explore weight in terms of eating and exercise because we all know that it is about what you consume and how much you move but it's also about the mental why is it you can't get past the weight or why are you holding on to the weight so noom is a great app and there are so many other apps there's weight watchers there is so many things out there that you can utilize also if you need medical assistance I would encourage you to see your physician and you can also take advantage of some of the videos on YouTube. They are free where people on YouTube are talking about how they lost weight. Some are into health and fitness, so many. So I encourage you this year, ladies, if you want to be elegant, to stop making excuses, but to try and try to truly get on top of your weight so that you feel better on the inside because if you don't feel good on the outside you're not going to project that on the outside okay ladies next let's talk smile when it comes to your smile your smile can be infectious when you smile at other people they will truly smile back at you your smile can make the difference in terms of how people treat you whether or not you get the job whether people perceive you as being open and someone whom they can approach. So when it comes to your smile, ladies, this is the year to take care of it. Let's have some regular dental checkups. In addition to that, let's get those teeth whitened. Beautiful, white, pearly teeth truly do attract other people. And I know we don't like to talk about our looks in terms of it may seem a little shallow. It may seem as if this is the only thing that we're thinking about. But the reality is people judge you within the first 30 seconds of meeting you. So you want to put your best foot forward. So when it comes to your smile, ladies, this is the year to get it taken care of. If you want to do something cosmetically to your smile, I encourage you to explore those options. They are out there and there are some dentists that do beautiful work. Now, if you just want to brighten your smile a little bit, you can do that by either getting a treatment with your dentist or some of the over-counter solutions, such as whitening toothpaste, whitening mouthwash, whitening strips. All of these are available to you. So this is the year we are taking care of our smiles because ladies, this is our year. And if you are looking for a mate, ladies, men are very visual. So you wanna have a beautiful smile so that they know that they can approach you. <laughs> okay, ladies, next on our list is skincare. So when it comes to our skincare, we wanna make sure that our skin is hydrated, not only on our face, but all over our bodies. 
So what we're doing this year is we are developing skincare routines, both for the morning and also for the nighttime. We wanna make sure that not only is our skin hydrated, but that it's also very supple. Skin is the largest organ on your body and you live in your skin each and every day. Not only that, ladies, we wanna go into our golden years looking the very best that we can look. And the only way that we're going to do that is to take care of our skin. So make sure, ladies, that you are using products that work for you. Whether it is medical grade skincare, whether it is some things that you buy over the counter at the drugstore or pharmacy. Okay, ladies, so here are a few products that I use to hydrate my skin. You've heard me talk about Aquaphor Lip Balm, but I also use it for my body and also I'll put that on my face sometimes and then amlactin is a really good one if you suffer from dry skin. Also Gold Bond, not only the lotion for the body but you've also heard me talk about Gold Bond for the hands. I also have the Chanel lotion as well, hand cream which I really like and CeraVe. CeraVe is really good not only for the body but also the face wash that they have. It's always recommended by dermatologists. Now, if you want a skincare product and you don't want to pay premium price, The Ordinary is a great product also. And you've heard me talk about the Definage series that I use. So ladies, when it comes to skincare, you just want to make sure that you're finding out what works for you because not all things work for everyone. But you want to take care of your skin because again, we're trying to live a very long, healthy life, but we want to look at our very best in terms of our overall health and our overall skin. So make sure ladies that you are taking care of your skin Skin, that you are hydrating it and also that you are protecting it from the sun so make sure that you are using your sunscreen okay ladies next of course is our hair we want to take care of our hair with routine maintenance as it relates to our hair and we want to also make sure that our hair isn't dry and brittle. So make sure that you are doing that routine maintenance, whether it is a trim, whether it is coloring your hair when the color is kind of wearing out and that you're hydrating the hair because if you do have color, it can be very, very drying. Also ladies, we don't want those flakes on our black clothing. We wanna make sure that our hair is well hydrated as well. So make sure you're doing routine maintenance as it relates to your hair. Okay ladies, now let's talk about our style. So ladies, when it comes to our overall pretty, it is also about our style. We have to figure out what our style is. What exactly is the style that you're projecting? Is it a classic style? Is it more of a bohemian style? What is it? One way to figure it out is first to determine what is your overall body type? There are so many body types or body shapes out there. Figure out which one is yours so that you can dress it appropriately. Also, figure out the colors that work best for you. And what is your favorite color? Now, if you say you don't really have a favorite color, I'd say go into your closet, take a look at your clothes. What is the predominant color in your closet? That is probably your favorite color, or at least the color that you think that you look best in. That is going to help in terms of your overall style. So ladies, this year, figure out what your overall style is. Your body shape, the colors that work best on you, your favorite color, and also when it comes to your overall style, ladies, remember 80% classics, 20% trends. Elegant women are more stylish than trendy. So you want to spend your money on those things that you know you're going to have for a very, very long time. Also, it is not about having a lot of clothes. It is truly about having those pieces that are going to work for you. So you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on inexpensive things. Spend most of your money on things that you're going to have for a very, very long time. So ladies, when it comes to your overall style, this is the year to figure out what your style is because remember, Elegant women are more stylish than they are trendy. So make sure, ladies, that we understand our style. Also, ladies, when it comes to being elegant, you want to make sure that you are utilizing accessories this year. So ensure that you have accessories, especially everyday jewelry that you are wearing. Incorporate that in your overall look because that becomes your signature look. And that becomes one of those things that sets your outfit apart from any other outfit. You can have on a basic black turtleneck, black pants, but when you put on accessories and jewelry, you're going to elevate that look completely. So ladies, this year, let's pay attention to our accessories. Now ladies, let's talk about poise. Now poise really is how you show up, how you carry yourself. 
So at Christmas time, there was this very special young lady. You know who you are, just in case you're watching. She wanted to buy me a gift. And one of the things that she did was she paid attention to detail. So what she did was she happened to see me talking in one of my videos, and I'll link it either here or here, about one of my favorite tea brands and how I like to start the day with a black tea. So she figured out that I like black tea. She paid attention to the overall brand. And not only did she do that, she found out what black tea I like, as well as got a cup warmer. So I thought that this was a beautiful gift. Not only do I appreciate it completely, but she paid attention to detail. Elegant women pay attention to detail, whether it is in how we dress, how we show up in terms of our work, whatever we're doing, we are paying attention to the small things because we know it is the detail that's going to set us apart from everyone else. In addition to that, what she also proved was that when it comes to gifts and or things, you can be elegant without spending a lot of money because it is not about how much money you spend, but it's the thought that you put into it and it is about paying attention to the detail. So not only was she very thoughtful, but she was paying attention to those small things and that's what elegant women do. Also ladies, when it comes to our overall poise, it is about our posture how we show up. We've all been in rooms where we see women and we think this woman is just incredible. And it's not that she's talking loud or she's talking a lot. It is how she carries herself as she moves about the room. Part of your poise is those elegant gestures, those small gestures that you do. It is about your posture. Are you standing with your shoulders back? And are you standing with your back straight, nice and tall? Now this is modern elegance. It is not your old school elegance where you have to be prim and proper at all times because that is just not the world that we live in. But thing is for sure, when it comes to being elegant, elegant really is how you show up and how people perceive you. And if you walk into a room with your back bent, your shoulders rolled to the front, you are not going to be perceived as elegant because part of being elegant not only is your posture, but it's your confidence. And if you're doing that, you don't appear very confident. So ladies, when it comes to your overall posture, try to have your back as straight as you possibly can, your shoulders back as much as you possibly can, walking straight and tall. And also when you are sitting, do not sit with your legs wide open so people can see what is under your skirt and or dress. You want to sit in a manner that depicts that you truly are a woman, a very elegant woman, and elegant women do not sit like that. So pay attention to how you're sitting, how you're walking, and how you're moving about in a room. Also ladies, when it comes to your overall gestures, elegant women in their movements, they are not making big bold movements. Everything kind of flows. Everything is really easy, really kind of relaxed. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to those overall gestures as well. Okay, ladies, so now let's talk purpose. So when it comes to purpose, we all have a reason that we are on this planet. And when it comes to overall purpose, purpose is about what really does fulfill you. What is it that make you content? What is it that gives you inner peace or inner joy? So when it comes to our overall purpose, ladies, we want to make sure that we have that. And part of that is one through your career. Do you have a career that you absolutely enjoy? Because when you enjoy your career, when you feel like you're making a difference, that really does make you feel more content. Ladies, it, when it comes to overall purpose, find those hobbies that truly are going to give you joy, that inner joy, inner peace, whether it is traveling, whether it's playing golf, whether it is looking or trying to learn another language make sure that you find that hobby that gives you that inner peace, that inner joy, because not only does it help you in terms of your inner peace and joy, it's also good for your overall stress. So ladies, when it comes to purpose, we wanna make sure that we are finding our purpose or that we are aligned to our purpose. Another way to do this is also to pay attention to some of those social groups that you are involved in. And if you are not, perhaps it is time to explore some social groups, charitable organizations where you can give some of your time to, and also ladies, perhaps some of the community groups so that you, again, not only are you giving your time, but you're being very productive in your overall community. Okay, ladies, that is our 
basic masterclass on elegance. And remember, elegance isn't just about how you look on the outside. It truly is how you feel on the inside and how you're treating other people. Are you kind to people? Are you treating them with respect? Because elegant women truly do treat people well. Thank you so much for watching. If there are some things that I've left out, leave it down below. Love to hear your thoughts. If you've liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and also share it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.